What's up guys? Welcome back to Vaga Brothers. We are wrapping up our road trip through the north of England today in Manchester. England's second largest city and a crucial player in the story of the North. Okay, so we're starting off by meeting up with John Considine, who does a black cab tour of the city. And then this afternoon, we're gonna go link up with Hannah Witten. She's a local YouTuber, and she's gonna show us around the Northern Quarter. Should be fun. You guys ready? Let's do it. Nice and quiet day here in Manchester. We are at the Castle Fields uh, canals. These canals actually go all the way to London. They link up Leeds and Liverpool, kind of the, the arteries of that industrial time. So John's coming with his black cab and then we're gonna go check out some more of the city. Hello. How's it going? Hi, how are you? Hi Marco, I'm John, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. And welcome to Manchester. Thank you so Thank much. You. Hi, how are you? Okay, so let's go to the Northern Quarter. Yeah, your, your wish is my command. So can you tell us a bit about what the Northern Quarter was and how and how it's kind of changing? Well, the Northern Quarter, as you'll see when we, you know, when we get there, is we negotiate our way through the city streets. It's what another destination area within the city. So this then is like the, the sort of hipster area, the, the trendy area of town. There's lots of little record shops, bars and restaurants and coffee shops and tea shops, little art galleries, the craft and design centers in there as well. All right, well, it sounds good to us. So we're driving over to the Northern Quarter and we're gonna meet up with Hannah Witten, who is a fellow YouTuber and uh, also a Mancunian. Get our hipster on in the Northern Quarter. Should be fun. Okay, well, the day progresses and we have just arrived into the northern quarter. We're heading to a place called Seifedblatt, which is pretty much like a co-working space. So we're gonna recaffeinate and meet up with Hannah. Zifferblatt, which is a pay per minute sitting room. Uh, we charge six pence a minute and everything else is free. So, all tea, coffee, biscuits, cake, fruit, cereal, toast, all unlimited, all self serve. Treat it like your own flat, basically. We started here um, in January 2015. Um, the whole idea was you could have a space in the city centre where you could just relax. So, you'd either meet a mate or if you want to do some work, people could come, you know, there's 100 meg Wi Fi and strong coffee and they sit here and do work all day instead of, instead of working from home. This would be a great spot to just come, post up, edit some videos, you know, if you're in college, like write an essay, hang out, meet people, conversations, so I like it. So this place is pretty cool, definitely enjoying the vibe. It's really cool to see how, how it's kind of like part of the shift, I guess, of how Manchester used to be this big industrial city and now, you know, you see creative types coming in here, working with their computers in a place like this. Certainly not the factory floor. I don't think that factory workers back in the day had all they could drink coffee and, and food on the table like that. Guys and ladies and gents, I present Hannah Witten. Hello. She is an awesome person, an amazing yeah. YouTuber, and you're gonna be showing us around the Northern Quarter. Yeah, I'm a Mancunian, by the she way. She is a local, she yeah. is a local, we should say that. How long has it been since you've lived here? It has been six years since I've lived here. Feels weird, but I come back quite regularly. Do you so. see the city changing at all? Um, I see like, some things like close down and then new things open again. Like especially where I'm from in Chalton, there's always like a new bar or a new fried chicken shop. I'm like, oh that's new. Although my favorite kebab place just closed down. I saw that last night we're walking past and I was like, no Zam Zam. Don't worry, though. Really sad about that. Are you hungry? Because I think it's lunchtime. Is it lunchtime? Yay! I like food. Alright, let's go. Time to eat. What's the plan? Where are we? Lunch, common. Common, food, beer. Uncommonly good though. Mm. Let's go. Boom. Acceptable to have pints in the middle of the day. Avocado, 
of white bean, red pepper. Food was good. <laughs> yeah. I think right now we're gonna head over to the Manchester Craft and Design Center. I know this for a fact, actually. It's a Victorian building, and there's all these artists inside making cool things. Let's go check it out. Time to peruse. I've never been here before. Nice. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I already love it. I'm Christine and we're here at the Manchester Craft and Design Centre. It used to be a fish market, uh, as you can see. We've now got um, studio shops here. There's 18 shops housing about 35 of the region's uh, most talented makers and designers. Yeah, I've seen it. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whose beard's better? <laughs> <laughs> Last night's comment Wait, wait. I'm not <laughs> for, for all of you LOTR people, the common misconception is that they're Arnold Dwarf women. But actually, <laughs> it's because they have a beard. <laughs> Hi. Oh, squeezing, <laughs> squeezing in. left the northern quarter we're out by the university and we're at the Whitworth Art Gallery which uh, Hannah actually has a little story about right? Yeah when I was eight years old the Whitworth Art Gallery ran a competition for like a kid to design a character that would go on the website and show children around the website and I designed this character called Splodge and he was just like a guy and he had a paint bucket and he had like patchwork stuff and Splodges of paint all over it. And you won! And I won the competition! And so when I was eight years old, I got to come to the Whitworth and then I had an artist like properly designed splodge and I got to hold um, a Picasso painting. Like I touched a very expensive Picasso painting, aged eight. I wonder if they will remember me. <laughs> cool. extremely bright idea of imitating Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the scene in the art gallery. Three, two, one. It just started. Got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ferris, in. Sloan, Cameron. Hell yeah. Now we just need that Ferrari. Where can people find your work? YouTube.com forward slash Hannah Witten. <laughs> Go you subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> okay, cool. Bye. Give us a hug. We'll see you. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go drink some beers and children. Yeah. Been so fun. Thanks for showing us around. See you later. Bye. Thank you, sir. Guys, unfortunately, this trip, this series is coming to an end. It has been absolutely incredible. I think this has been one of the most amazing trips we've done. I think that we have been able to experience the culture fully. We, we started at the beginning with the Celts, with the Romans. We, we moved into Christian culture, Viking culture, maritime heritage, industrial revolution, romanticism. But these two vagabonds must journey on. I feel like it was an ambitious project to try and trace the entire history of a country and a region uh, in a series of vlogs, but yeah. hopefully hopefully we accomplished it. I don't know, you guys feel free to just kind of chuck a comment in there and let us know how we did. But um, I'm curious, uh, I'm asking you, what was your favorite moment from the trip? 
I have to say I'm very, very, very partial to all these industrial cities. I really like Leeds, I like Liverpool, I like Manchester. I really feel bad that we weren't able to go to Newcastle. Uh, disclaimer, we were supposed to go there, but our plane got delayed. We missed our entire Two first day. Two planes got delayed. Yeah, we missed the entire first day of this trip during which we're supposed to go to Newcastle. So Newcastle, we owe you. What about you, what's your favorite? It's funny, you say the industrial cities. I was completely taken by Northumbria. Yeah. Um, the first day, the first two days for me, uh, the Dutto Standing Stones. Lindisfarne. Uh, Lindisfarne, wow. gorgeous. Hadrian's Wall, um, I'm kind of a dork about Roman history, I love it. And to be standing on that structure and looking north, I, I felt like Jon Snow, you know, on a, uh, on the wall. And the Lake District. The Lake District was next level, like seriously one of the most gorgeous places on the planet. And, and, driving, and driving the Mini through all those like little roads with the hedgerows. Oh yeah, with the, with I the feel like it, it was like Vaga Brothers do Top Gear. Oh. Really. So I mean, this whole trip has been absolutely incredible and one that I would repeat in a heartbeat. We're extremely curious to hear your favorite moments from the trip, so please put those in the comment section. Big thanks to Visit Britain for putting this all together. And if you enjoyed this series, or if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Vaga Brothers if you haven't already. And in the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and, and we'll see, see all guys. of you guys on the road. Peace. Peace. What should we say? Cheerio. No, no, no. <laughs> no cheerio, no cheerio. Never say cheerio ever, bro.